Good morning. It is Wednesday, November 28th, I believe, 2018. And let's see. So I'm almost there on day 10. Day 10, then day 9. Day, day something. Um, <laughs> day, uh, so Monday, so Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday. So I'm day 10, I think. Day 10 in um, to the diet. And um, so basically this past week, what my diet has consisted of, and just let me, I've gone off a little bit a couple of times. Um, so up until Thanksgiving last Thursday, my diet consisted of just protein shakes three times a day, protein drink, 64 ounces of that a day, and a protein bar, okay, a protein bar, there was no multiple bars in one day, a protein bar, and a hard-boiled egg, and then on Thanksgiving, I had small amounts. I had like a, um, it's not, it's a paper plate, but it's not the big ones. It's the smaller ones. I don't know what it's called. And on that, I had turkey and I had, I had everything on that plate and it wasn't mounted over. It wasn't, it was just, it was less than a cup of you know, mac and cheese, less than a cup of potatoes, less than a, it was a less than a cup of everything. All day I still drink my shakes. And I had a protein bar that day. And then for dinner, that's what I ate. And I did not have a shake for dinner because obviously I was full from that. Now I've hit all protein goals every single day. I've actually gone above and beyond. Um, there were a couple of times that I did not get 64 ounces of water in, mostly on the weekend, so I have to work better at that at home. Um, because once I'm home, I don't really drink a whole lot. So I have to work, excuse me, I have to work better at that. Um, then after Thanksgiving, um, so on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I've had... I had turkey for dinner, pieces of turkey, the size of my palm, less than like half the size of my palm. It was not very large because um, I don't have any leftovers left, so I, I made them last. Um, one day I had broth, chicken broth. Um, I'd say it was probably two cups of chicken broth. Again, I had three three things of protein, and I mix it up between the protein. So. Um, I'm drinking isolate, uh, isopure chocolate powdered protein. I'm drinking premier chocolate protein. And I'm drinking un, uh, uh, un, un, un protein strawberry and chocolate. And... Um, and banana pure protein. I don't know if I said that already. So those are all the things that I've been drinking. And then I, my liquid, my liquids have been a protein drink. So I've been drinking the Iso Pure Zero Carbs um, drink. And in that drink, uh, uh, it's one bottle. It's a, it's a, I don't know, 20 ounce bottle or something. I don't know. And uh, it's a pint, I believe. And I pour that into my 64 ounce water bottle. And then I add water to it. So it's 64 ounces. It is diluted because drinking it like that is really, really strong. Um, so it is diluted. It does not have any sugar. It doesn't have any of that in it. Um, and then... And then after, so then, so that's what I've been drinking. In addition to my water and, you know, regular drinking water, 
Um, <clears throat> which I haven't been counting any of those bottles or anything. Now, the Premier Shake, the Premier Shakes and the, the um, Pure Protein, I do add water or almond milk, which I don't have any more almond milk, so I've been adding water to them. And it's about a cup that I add because I, I find them very, very thick. And I don't like it thick like that. Um, unless it's like got ice in it. That's how I like it thick. But to just drink it like that thick, I don't like it. So I do add water to loosen them up a little bit. Um, I've also added some um, extracts. So I've done some vanilla. Uh, I've done some strawberry, some cherry, some mint. Now I've learned by playing with it by adding a lot, they don't taste very good. So I only have to, I can only add a little bit because adding a lot doesn't taste. I still drink the shake because the shake costs a lot of money. It just tastes disgusting and it doesn't taste like what is supposed to be the flavor. So I have to learn that that happy medium there. So those have, those things have added to mix the shakes up and make them, you know, taste different. So I'm not tired of, you know, drinking it. As far as, the, as, far as the, the protein drinks, I've ordered a couple of different flavors. I've ordered the blue raspberry, I've ordered the grape, I've ordered the fruit crunch, and I've ordered the apple. And um, I did that so that way it mixes it up. So I have all these cases of protein drinks in my house right now, which is great because I'm going to need them. But, um, you know, that it just helps with... Um, making sure I get that protein because that one bottle is 40 grams of protein so you need 80 grams of protein a day and that one bottle is half of the protein and then I get at least 25 grams of protein from each shake so if I'm having three a day I'm going above and beyond and that doesn't include any of the food that I'm eating so I'm getting more of the protein than, you know, 80 grams, which is great. Um, so that is where that is at. Now, as far as some of the other things that I've eaten, I've done the P3s. They are really expensive. So I made my own. Yesterday, I kind of made a movie though. So I made my own the day before. I brought to work, you know, some uh, beef jerky. Um. I think it was chicken jerky, actually. I don't think it was beef jerky. But um, it was a brand that I got off the shelf. And it looked, it looked good. It was teriyaki, so it looked good. But, I mean, it was expensive at $14. So, anyway. Um, so, I cut it up. And I brought it to work with some string cheese. And I ate that. Now, P3s also have peanuts in them. Which I really can't eat peanuts anyway because they make me constipated. So... Um, I figured instead of spending all that money on three little packets of P3s, just make my own. And so, and all I really wanted was the beef jerky and the cheese anyway. So, just bring my own. So, I did that. Well, yesterday I wound up eating the entire bag of beef jerky. Now, mind you, it's only, you know, the bag that I had, because I scanned it in. I did put it in my thing and said I ate it all. So the, the, it, it was only 200 calories, 220 I think it was. You know, there's I think maybe two carbs or whatever. I mean, it's really minute, but it's still high in sodium. Um, so I, I I need to be aware of that. I also had some pork rinds, which I know I probably shouldn't have had. I mean, I could. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with those the pork rinds because they are low in calories and low in carbs high in sodium um but they're also you know skin pig skin fried you know so um maybe something as a go-to after surgery later on not to cleanse my liver i had a couple of those other day with with hubby um they were my favorite flavor and they're my favorite kind so i love pork rinds to begin with but i i like those so i have to remember to you 
know, actually not overindulge on those. Um, I have not really, I, and I had, a, I had a chicken sandwich from McDonald's with no bun. And so the chicken sandwich from McDonald's, the whole meal was 560 calories. Well, I didn't drink the soda and I didn't eat the fries and I didn't eat the bun. All I had was the lettuce, the tomatoes, and the chicken sat the chicken sandwich, the chicken patty. That by itself was 230 calories and five carbs, if I remember correctly. So though it's not the healthiest choice, it was a choice that I was on a uh, in a meeting on a you know in a meeting in, in a business meeting type of thing and we stopped at McDonald's and so that's what I had um I know that the other day by accident not even thinking I grabbed for uh, peanut uh, miniature peanut butter um, squares I had three um, and it just was un, un, unconscious I did it I just grabbed and then when I was done I went oh shit I just had this so it was just unconscious it wasn't anything um, I did enter them into the, the, the app thing so it's a learning thing that you know these last two weeks have really taught me now I know my stomach has shrunk a great deal because now I'm not as hungry um, the shakes fill me up afterwards to a point and um, they only fill me up for a certain amount of time so like last night I had um, the shake and I had my last piece of turkey and I was full and again the turkey that I'm having is the half of my palm I'm not eating a very large amount there's no sauce no gravy no no nothing, no, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just the way the turkey breast is, is the way I ate it. Um, and I'm okay with it. It's not that big of a deal. I, and I think what I'm missing is just the different flavors of stuff. I think that's what's killing me the most is because I really enjoy, you know, the flavors of food and not having them is what is making me want it more um i noticed that i can smell better um i taste everything at this point but i really want um you know the different flavors that's what i'm missing i'm not necessarily actually missing the food themselves it's the flavoring that comes with the foods that's what i'm missing so i will be excited when this whole thing is over. Now I do have some soups that I could eat and that type of stuff, but I'm really saving that for when I am on the liquid part. Um, I don't want to be, you know, necessarily drinking all of that because right now I still can eat whole foods. You know, I can have, you know, certain foods without having an issue. You know, I can have chicken. I can have a boiled egg. I can have string cheese, fat-free string cheese. So I don't want to not have those and drink the soups or the broths when I can't, when those are really the, technically the only things that I can be eating and you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't want to do that. So that's why I'm not touching those. Um, I had some the other day just because I was freezing and I needed something to warm me up. And so I had chicken broth and it helped warm me up. I didn't really like it because I watered it down too much, which was my fault. Um, but other than that, it was good. Um, so I'm only a couple of days away from um, the big day. So today's Wednesday. I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days. Sunday is an all-day liquid diet, no food, you know, no solid foods, just liquids, and nothing after 10, which isn't a problem because I'm going to eat after 8 anyway, so, um, or 9, I should say, so that's not a problem, but, uh, yeah, so that's where, um, you know, where things are at with that at this point. I am 
not worried about having a fatty liver. I really don't even think I have one. I don't think it's an issue. To be honest, I think this diet is really more geared toward getting you prepared for after surgery because basically this is what life is going to be like um, minus the solid foods that I can eat for a little while. So um, I think that's really what this two-week pre-op diet is about is just to prepare you so it's not such a hard um, transition from one thing to another. I know of, you know, some people don't have to do diets. You know, they don't have to do the two-week diet. Some people have to do a 30-week diet. And I think it all depends on your health and your current situation and your blood work and all of that. I really think that that makes a difference um, as to what they they make you do as far as dieting and stuff. Um, I don't have diabetes. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have, uh, you know, high cholesterol. I don't have any of that. Um, I just have lots of fat, high body fat. Um, and so this will be, this will fix that quick, hopefully. Well, maybe not quick, but this will fix that. Um, and that's it. So I know that I need to be conscious of my actions because unconscious moves can really harm me later on. I'll be doing a lot of throwing up or feeling ill if I don't. Um, I know I have to pay attention to my water intake when I'm at home. And I need to drink more of it. If that means carrying around my water bottle with me, then that's what I need to be doing. But I need to make sure that I'm consuming the liquids at home just like I do at work. And I know I need to be more conscious of other things that I do that, you know, like... Um, well, when I was cooking, I didn't taste any of the foods because I knew that I should not. So I did, I did really well on that. Um... You know, and I made my husband a beef patty the other day, and I didn't take a bite. I didn't even it smell so good. I didn't try any of it. I didn't do any of that. So, just, I guess my two big things are just making sure I am conscious of the things that I'm doing. Being aware of what my actions are. Because the, the Butterfinger things, you know, though I know they're not going to be harmful right now, you know, they will be later on. Um, so, I just have to be mindful of that. And then... The overeating, like I really did not mean to sit there and eat that whole bag of beef jerky. Eh. The one that I had wasn't a very large bag. It was only three ounces, maybe. So technically, you know, I mean, I'm, I overate by two ounces, um, and I, and I, but I just was not paying attention. I was. I was talking to my husband, we were, you know, having a good time listening to music and talking and next thing I know the bag is empty. Um, so yeah, I just need to pay attention to those type of things. And I need to slow down when I eat. Um, I think right now I'm eating so fast because I am hungry and I'm not eating a whole lot of food. So I'm eating it fast. So I need to slow down when I'm eating. <laughs> Those are things that I need to work over on in the next four days. Um, other than that, not much else. Everything else is going okay. Um, I did do some cardio um, the other day. And it was the worst thing I had ever done. And I think that that's where a lot of the, the mindful things came into play. You know, like the... The, um... Butterfinger things. It was that day. Um looking for something because I was starving and so now I understand why they say don't do any um, strenuous exercising because I was starving after working out and nothing was curbing that that hunger and um, yeah so I really need to I, I now I know why they say don't do heavy working out during this diet because you're not intaking enough and you're going to be hungry after and you can't eat anything it was awful feeling awful 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 so I need to do that better. Um, other than that, that's it. It's going smooth. Um, you know, some things are going to work on. And, and then, of course, this is just a learning process and a learning curve for everybody in the beginning. Because you don't know what you're getting into. Because everybody's body's different. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day. You know what I say? The best investment you can make is an investment in you. What are you investing in you today? Um, today is just making sure I do better today than I did yesterday.
you know, not to eat that bag of beef jerky. Excuse me, I'm exhausted. Um, and uh, that's it, really. So you guys have a wonderful day, and I will check in with you tomorrow.